Hello and welcome back to CAD Designs. Today we're going to be focusing on a new drawing called the Rocker Arm. It's the second of seven drawings in my 2D AutoCAD mechanical series. The Rocker Arm here will focus on two new commands, Polygon and a special Circle command. We're going to start with some reference lines as always. And our first reference line here will be a vertical line that gets us from our lower edge of the drawing up to this main horizontal reference. The horizontal reference will get us from the right to left side, and we'll have one more reference line to get us back here to the center of all of the, these main features. The main features today are going to consist of six circles and a hexagon, and our modifying features will have two lines and two arcs. Let's take a look at the dimensions here for the rocker arm. These dimensions are in centimeters today, but that won't really matter. We're just going to draw in units. If you want to download the documents in this series to have and print out before you start the drawing, go to my page on Teachers Pay Teachers at CAD Shop by CAD Designs. Alright, let's go ahead and jump into this drawing here in AutoCAD. Let's start a brand new drawing. Turn off all of our drawing aids. I prefer to do that in me mechanical drawings. And then also zoom all. Z enter, A enter. That way the top right of our page is set to about the default size of a sheet of paper. We're only going to need two layers in this drawing, the reference line layer and the solid model layer. So let's go ahead and click on layer properties and add both of those. New layer button, I'm just going to call it ref. Again, the new layer button, we'll call that SM for solid model. I like to set my reference lines to magenta, as well as set them current in here by double clicking before I close it on out. Our first reference line is going to start off to the bottom left hand side of the screen and it's going to go straight up 1.75. So again I'm going to be using polar coordinates. I'm going to type in shift 2 or the at symbol. 1.75 less than 90. 90 degrees go straight up in AutoCAD. I'm going to draw a line all the way across our page 5.62 to the right. So shift 2 5.62 less than 0 goes straight over to the right. And to get back to the center part of our drawing where the polygon and those two outer circles are, we're going to come back three units. So going back to the right or back to the left is a shift to 3 less than 180. And that's going to give me a line ending about the middle but a little bit more to the left than midpoint. That's it for our reference lines. Let's go ahead and jump into the solid model. So switch your layer over to the SM layer, and I'm going to start with the circles that are centered on this endpoint and this endpoint. Both of these circles at each of those endpoints are the same size. The inner circles have a diameter of 0.62, and the outer circles have a radius of 0.75. To draw the inner circles, I'm going to drop down circle and choose center diameter. I want to put it at the endpoint of these reference lines. So I'm going to use my shift right mouse key to pull up my object snaps, and I'm going to choose end point. On this end point here, we want to place the center and type in 0.62 for the inner circle's diameter. The outer circles have a radius of 0.75, so I'm going to choose center radius for my circle option. Again, shift right mouse key end point for my center location, and then a radius of 0.75. These two circles, I could draw them over here, but there's a faster way to get them, and I'm just going to copy both of those from the endpoint of my reference line over to the opposite end endpoint. You could have drawn both. You could have used the technique of hitting enter to start the last command and enter for the same size. Uh, whatever tools you want to use, I just want to show you different ones so you become more comfortable with AutoCAD. Back here at the endpoint of our third reference line, we're going to have two circles and a polygon. The first circle has a diameter of 3. So I'm going to drop down circle, choose center diameter, again placing the center on the endpoint of that reference line and setting the diameter to 3. The outer circle has a radius of 1.75. So again, I'll choose circle center radius. The center of that circle will be at the endpoint of the reference line, and I'll type in the radius of 1.75. For the polygon, it's a six-sided polygon, or a hexagon. You're going to find that command tucked underneath the rectangle command. So drop down rectangle, choose polygon, and there are a few options that we have to do. 
the command line first asks me for the number of sides. And I want to choose 6. The second thing it wants is the center of the polygon. I'm going to use my shift right mouse key endpoint and again choose the endpoint of that reference line. And now it's asking for inscribed or circumscribed. Circumscribed circles go from flat to flat. Inscribed circles touch the vertices. So I want to choose the option of C, enter for circumscribed. And now it asks me the radius. Since I was given the diameter of 1.75, I have to take half of that value. I like to convert it into fractions. 1.75 to me is 7 quarters. Dividing that in half is just 7 eighths. So 7 divided by 8. Hit enter. Now it's also rotated 15 degrees from vertical. One of my vertexes are. I know that the angle of this vertex here is 0 degrees from horizontal. And so I could do some quick math and realize that vertical is 90 plus another 15 is 105. I want to rotate this polygon about this center 105 degrees. So select the polygon itself, choose Modify Rotate. For our base point, again we want to choose that same endpoint of the reference line. And now the rotation angle will be 105. Type in 105, hit Enter, and you've got your polygon where it needs to be. We're done with our main features. We're ready for our modifying features. Now, these features here we're going to draw in. We're not going to modify what currently exists, but they close in our shape. The first two are going to be the lines that close in the right side of our rocker arm. I want to draw a line, and I want this line to just touch this circle and just touch that. What we call that in mathematics or even in CAD is tangent. So I want to choose shift right mouse key tangent. And I'm going to choose anywhere on the circle about 1 or 2 o'clock. And that line will extend off of my circle, tangent to the circle. And I want it to go to a shift right mouse key tangent to this smaller circle on the right. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on the bottom. We're going to draw a line from shift right mouse key tangent. Tangent the circle about 5 or 4 o'clock to shift right mouse key tangent again about 5 or 4 o'clock. To clean up the insides of this, I'm going to use my trim command, TR, enter, enter. And we're going to get rid of our inner circles, both top and bottom of our reference line. To finish off the part over here on the left hand side, we have two arcs. Those arcs are just touching these two outer circles, just touching similar to these lines, meaning that they are tangent. The new command of circle that I want to show you is tan tan radius. I happen to know the radius of both of those circles. One is five and one is one and a half. So I'm going to use this option of tan tan radius. I want to choose this outer circle at about nine o'clock and this upper circle about 11 o'clock. The radius of this arc is five. So I'll type in five and hit enter. I'm going to trim off that circle in just a little bit. It's the same exact command for our lower one, circle, tan tan radius. Choosing this circle here about 4 and this one about 7, it has a smaller radius of 1.5. I'm going to now use my trim command, tr, enter, enter, to get rid of these extraneous portions of the circles as well as the inner portions of our main features. We're done with the drawing. Let's go ahead and zoom extents, Z enter, E enter, to bring this drawing nice and full screen. Save your work, check out my other drawings in this tutorial, and thank you for watching CAD Designs.